Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers and Wines and Spirits review. Today you're going to be reviewing, from reasonably close to me, about half an hour or so away, um, Formbridge and their Crackendale, which is a Citra Pale Ale, 5.2% in alcohol content. Uh, light gold in colour, Crackendale packs a strong citrus punch, yet remains eminently refreshing. Right. What better way to see than to open the bottle and uh, have a look see. So, almost looks like a lager. Um, straw colour, white head, bit of lacing there and carbonation. On the, uh, on the nose. I know he hasn't had a beer. Wow, massive citrus uh, aroma. Really strong. I mean, what you can say is at least it's got it. Because you do some beers and then some of these like hop bombs and things like that. And you're, and you're glad you get got a smell of, you know. And uh, very, um, you know, not good for the brand when you can't smell anything. So yeah. Very much citrus on the nose, let's go for the taste. Citrus at the forefront, as soon as you open your mouth, you're breathing that citrus flavour in. Um, and really it's your really quite strong citrus flavour and lasting as well. Even now I can still taste the citrus even though it's gone down the, the edge as it were. Very nice. Citra pale ale, definitely pale. Look at that. I mean, it's about as pale as most ales get. Um, you know, you could say it was a lager looking at it. So, Thornbridge, um, they do make some cracking beers. Um, they do a Cocoa Wonderland, or is it? Co whatever it's called. I think it's called Cocoa Wonderland. And. Um, it's an absolutely immense, strong, dark beer. The flavour is gobsmackingly good. It's in my top 10 beers list. So if you look on that, the playlist on this channel and you see top 10 beers, and they're the beers that I deem to be top class beers. Not all the beers are on there because I only bought it in at a certain stage. But um, yeah, most of the best beers are on there. And... Uh, I must do that classification for spirits, ciders and whatnot, you know. Uh, although I don't drink a lot of spirits, to be fair, because, one, they're bloody expensive and I can't afford it. <laughs> although I have joined a review um, club, sort of thing, for William Grant, and I got sent a bottle of Drambuie the other week, and I love Drambuie anyway, so it was like, a, it was a gimme, you know. And I got a 5CL bottle, my God, that, bot that glass didn't last long, you know. It's um, 50 mils basically, you know, one measure, you know, well, more like a half measure on my standards, but um, yeah, it went down beautiful. Um, a fantastic introduction to the world of whiskies. You know, it's a whiskey liqueur rather than a whiskey. Fly. Um, yeah, whiskey liqueur rather than a whiskey, and um, yeah, absolutely fantastic. You know, it's got like a syrupy flavour to it, you know. Oh, very nice. I've actually uh, had a bottle of um, Sky Beauty, which is made with distilled spirit, and uh, I think it's honey. And uh, um, it's basically a 100% clone of Dram Beauty, and that was amazing too. That bottle did not last long. It was a litre bottle, and uh, yeah, it went down the hatch very quickly, you know. And, uh, I need to get hold of some more bottles uh, someday soon. But anyway, back to this fella. Yes, very nice. Ooh. So it's all about the citrus on the aroma and the taste, you know. Um, it's not really telling you anything more than that. So it's a nice, 
oppy citrus beer, you know, and uh, that's that's what it is really. And it, within that citrus, grapefruit is massive. You know, you really get the twang as you're trying to pick out the flavours. You know, you really do get that twang from it. Oh, so what a day. Absolutely bloody windy all night long. It's been chucking it down. We've had some crap weather these last few days. Although I did five days in my new job. And uh, to be fair, it was red hot the whole bloody time I was there. Sweating my head off. And uh, I'm not sure whether I was coming down with something or what. But um, I think it's just anxiety. I think it just... Uh, uh, that's a, pro a, a side product of anxiety is and stress is that you're red hot, your body's on fire, you know, and uh, so if you feel, if you're feeling that, uh, unless it's the menopause and I'm getting old and uh, oh, I'm getting grey, but I reckon that's off, oh, that's through stress, you know, it's, uh, the thing is not to care, but there's, none of us have got that button where we can just switch it off. Some people say they can. Easy said than done, you know. Um, once I get something in the head, I, I can't get rid. And uh, drinking the odd beer helps because you know you, you chill out a bit more. But drinking too much beer is equally as bad because you know that can hinder uh, things as well. So you know. So breaking it down. Straw colour, white head, good lacing and carbonation because it's still retained in the head as you can see. Uh, citrus on the nose, citrus on the taste, massive grapefruit uh, is the prominent flavour that comes through from the citrus. Although there is lemon in there, there is orange in there or elements of orange. Uh, it could be mandarin, you know, I mean it's tangerine, you know, it's picking out them flavours. I mean, unless you're a flavour god, you know. And it, citrus sounds best, doesn't it, you know? I mean, some people can pick out 50,000 flavours and you think to yourself, are you dreaming, you know? And when they say, oh, I get grass from it, I get bread, I get toast, I get marmite, you're thinking, yeah, 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 yeah. You've had too many already and pack the reviews in. So, very nice. Formbridge on their site do 12 bottles uh, I think it's, it's about 30 quid and you get free delivery as well so you know it's a site it's well worth checking out they've got some belting beers you know um, so if you do like theirs I mean I've had one of their strawberry Lucario at last year's um, Robin Hood Beer Festival which I'm hoping to get some tickets for soon uh, I haven't got my ticket yet all my day off but I'm moving jobs it's so awkward um, I don't really have, I'd rather have an extra day off at Christmas than go to a beer festival but um, I might have to swallow it in the one less day at Christmas which I don't like the sound of because at Christmas I like to have as many days off as possible but hey, uh, that is the sacrifice when you move jobs because in, in the job I was in I would have had at least two weeks off for Christmas but the this place, I'm at the, the holidays, one from January to December, and obviously starting in August, I'm not going to accrue enough holidays to become Christmas. So, um, yeah, that's part and parcel of uh, moving jobs, isn't it? You know, you sacrifice certain things. Right, so, out of five then, uh, a very nice, strong citrus ale um, hoppy but not too hoppy more about the citrus you know it really does shine through um, good strength that 5.2 percent really sh shines through as well you know I can really feel it and that's the first thing I've drank today you know so proper you know certainly it hits you on the edge straight away plus it's bloody hot in here um, out of five then I'm going to give it a 4.3 out of 5. Not a top 10 beer, but not every beer has to be. But, you know, a very nice beer, you know. And definitely one worth trying out, you know, if you see it. 
if you come across it. I think I got that from Marks and Spencers. If you do go to Marks and Spencers or Waitrose, try and go when they've got a three for five pound deal because you'll find out most of their beers are two or two pound fifty a bottle or can, which is pricey, you know. So if you can get it free for a fiver, <clears throat> you get it for about one pound sixty nine a bottle, which is a lot better than two pound, two pound fifty a bottle, a can, you know, whatever. Right, nice, yeah. And that's all for this review. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing and uh, clicking that bell. And uh, and for anybody who comments, I don't read, I don't reply to every comment, unfortunately. But I, I, I will try to a bit more. Anyway, I do read them though. Thanks for watching. See you soon.